Are you looking for tips and ideas to engage your students when teaching online? Let me share with you how I managed to get students excited about course material. I recently ran a debate competition in my online class and in one and a half hours that we sat in front of our computers, students were extremely engaged. They even wrote to me privately saying that they enjoyed the lesson very much and learned a lot from my class. Now, let me share with you how I ran this debate in my online class successfully. First, among the weekly topics, I selected the ones that I found suitable for debate. In my case, I taught organizational communication, and one of our topics focused on the pros and cons of teleworking. Another topic was whether or not workplace romance should be disclosed. So, um, we would like to argue that the disclosure of workplace relationships infringes on privacy. Couples may feel like their private life is being exposed to the organization if their relationship is made known. This causes stress to them as there is no clear separation between work and family. Keep in mind, a good debate topic should provide opportunities for the affirmative and negative teams to develop their arguments equally. Second, I divided my class into four groups and prepared two topics for them to debate. They were assigned the affirmative and negative roles for each topic. I gave them 20 minutes to prepare their arguments with the team. This reasonably limited time seemed to get them energized very well. Third, I told each group that they must delegate the strongest speakers to present. While not everyone in the group will have the opportunity to speak, everyone is required to help the team brainstorm arguments to support their side. The key instruction is that they have to refer to readings or theories they have learned in our class during their debate. Um, this is based on a study by Hoven, Zunen and Fauna in 2016 where they argue that um, increased interruptions and unpredictability actually takes a toll on employee welfare and according to the job demands Fourth, to energize the class and the team collaboration further, I announced that the winning team would be given extra credit for their upcoming midterm exam. While it's a pity that we did this in our online class and physical prize cannot be given, they were all still excited about this idea. Fifth, I began running the debates, allowing each team two to three minutes to speak thanks to Zoom. After each topic was debated, I launched a poll for our class to vote for the winning team. As a result, we got the two winning teams from the two topics. Finally, I revealed a big surprise that there was one final topic for the two winning teams to debate so that we can get the ultimate winner from our class. Students were given even more limited time to brainstorm and prepare for this final round. I also allowed only one speaker to present their team and repeated the same voting process so that we could finish our class as scheduled. I finished all these activities in just one and a half hour. The whole class was actively engaged in brainstorming, presenting, listening to the debates, and voting for the winner. Students usually enjoy constructing their arguments in this activity, but specific details on how you run the debate can be adapted to suit your context. Just trust your students, allow them to speak, then your online teaching can be engaging and fun.